Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, the Tech Coders, and today we are going to solve problem number 179, that is 179 of read code largest number. Okay, let's understand what question is exactly saying to us. So see, question states that we are given a list of non-negative integer nums and we are supposed to arrange them in such a way that the resultant answer is maximum. Okay, as I can see in my constraint that the length of this given input array can be up to 100. Okay, so that number will become really very large. So that's why we are supposed to return a string instead of an integer. Okay. Now let's try to understand what exactly question is saying to us with an example. So now see, this is my second test case which was given in the question. So we are supposed to arrange them in such a way that the resultant should be maximum, resultant should be largest. So after seeing this example, I can say that the resultant answer will be 9, 5, 3, 4, 3, 3, 0. Okay, so this is my answer. But now the major question is that how we can approach to get this as my answer. Okay, so now you may be having one thing in your mind that as I'm supposed to return a string so let's do one thing that I'll take each of these elements in my string and after that I'll perform sorting okay let's try to go with that intuition okay my string will be 3 3 0 3 4 5 9 now after sorting it will be like this 9 5 4 triple 0 now you may say that this is greater than this okay but no that's not the case over here you can see that 4 is coming before 3 but in my given array 4 was coming after 3 it was 34 and over here it is 43 so this sequence can't be changed okay you may change the sequence of this individual elements but this sequence can't be changed okay I'm saying that you are 20% right over here as we are going to perform sorting but that sorting is not going to be a traditional one okay over here we are going to use the custom operator so now let's move further now see I'm going to perform sorting over here okay so now while sorting what we'll check let us suppose that this is my a and this is my b okay this is my a and this is my b so while sorting what i'll check if a plus b is greater than b plus a or not okay this has been converted into a string and what will be operation over here that is 330 is greater than 303 or not and if it is greater then we are going to return true that is you can sort them now see over here i can see that 330 is greater than 303 what will be my resultant one it will be like this that is 3 will come first and after that it will be 30 now we'll come over here now you may say that this is my a and this is my b again we'll perform the same thing that is if 334 is greater than 343 or not okay now i can see that no this condition is false so what i'll do i'll place 34 over here okay now i'll move further now my b will come over here okay again what we'll do this is my a and this is my b again we'll do the same thing that is a plus b that is 35 is greater than 53 or not okay this condition is false what i'll do i'll place 5 over here i'll place 5 over here now similarly my b will come over here now similarly my b will come over here this is a and this is b again we'll check the same thing 39 and 93 this is again false okay this is again false what i can say 9 is gonna come over here 9 is gonna come over here now what i'll do i'll have my answer the string and over there i'll append each of these elements like this 9 5 3 4 3 3 okay now i can see that i'm having exact same answer which i was getting over here okay now let's see again okay so what we were doing we were taking Two string at a time and over there we were checking if a plus b is greater than b plus a or not okay and if it is greater then we are putting b after my a and if it is false then i am putting b before my a that is over here it was true so 30 came after this and if it was false then 34 5 and 9 okay you can see for each of these cases now you may be having a question that why a is not changing why a is constant over here if you want you can change this a over here also now see what will be my case it will be 3034 whether it is greater than 3430 so i know this condition is false and you can see that 34 is coming before 30 okay now you may be having query that why what if this will be my a what if this will be my a and this is my b so what will the situation over here that is 349 is greater than 934 or not okay so again this is false again this is false and i can see that 9 is coming before 34 okay so this was our approach now let's move to the coding part so initially we'll make a string answer which will be empty 
now what we are doing we are simply sorting it out so let's do that with a custom comparator okay so now i'll write a code for a custom comparator i'll get two values from there int a and b but now see see what we are doing at that time we are checking if a plus b is greater than b plus a or not okay so at that time we were considering this a and b as a strength okay and now we are getting this as an integer so we'll come so we'll simply convert it okay we'll return if my string of a plus my string of b is greater than my string of b plus my string of a simple okay now i'm done with the sorting part after this i'll each eat each after this i'll add each of my element into my answer simple Moment i is equals to zero. Uh, let's do this. That is answer plus is equals to two string i. Okay, we are done with this. Now we'll simply return this. Now I'm saying that this is gonna run for this cases, but there will be a case where our code is gonna stuck. Okay. Or it's a spelling mistake thing. So yeah, it is running successfully. Now let's try to submit it. So now see, this was the case I was talking about. Okay, now let's try to consider this one. So now see, this is my input. So even after taking all the possible combinations and permutations over here, my answer is gonna be equal to zero. Okay, so now see, but I can see that my answer is returning two zeros over here. So now I'm going to write a case for this that is if the first element of answer if the first element of answer is equals to 0 then simply return 0 or else my original answer okay so now this will run so yes now we can see that our code had been successfully submitted okay so this was the solution guys i hope you understood all the logic and the concepts over here and if you're having any doubt then just feel free to comment over there we'll definitely help you to come out of it okay so like our video subscribe our channel and share this with your friends who are participating in all this code courses and lead code rounds and all okay so thank you for watching and have a good day